Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about this MDR area of interest and how it could potentially become a major hurricane and then we'll be going into that Western Caribbean system potentially too. So without further ado, let's get started. So to start off, of course, we have the disturbance one, 20% chance of forming within the next 48 hours and within the next six and within the next seven days, 60% chance of forming. So environmental conditions appear to be conducted for gradual development and environmental conditions appear conducted for gradual development. Tropical depression could form during the early to middle portions of next week and this is gonna move westward at 40 miles an hour into the central and eastern tropical Atlantic. In the eastern Pacific, there's an area, but we're not really gonna talk about that, of course, and there is nothing in the central Pacific. So to, to start off, we are going to go to the GFS model. We're gonna to go to current storms and Currently, it's not an invest yet, so just thought you guys should know that. In the GFS, we do see how the system strengthens a lot and gets to around major hurricane strengths and then goes out to sea, and then that's really it. So this could become a hurricane to a major hurricane, but either way, major hurricane chances are increasing, and of course, this could cause very um, heightened waves for the Leeward Islands, depending on how close it gets. And of course, high sustained winds, as you can see here, and wind gusts are going to be high as well. Next off, we're going to go to the ECMWF. We're going to have to go to zero Z because the current run isn't finished loading. So if we can do, we do see how it goes to hurricane strengths around 976, but it could strengthen past that point. We get significant wave heights that could probably affect Bermuda and the Leeward Islands. 850 MB winds high as well, and 10 meter winds high as well. Large tropical storm, hurricane, um, major hurricane wind field. So we're going to have to watch out for that too. And now we're going to go to the uh, sea surface temperatures where we do see in the nor uh, tropical Atlantic there, they are favorable for uh, hurricane development. So now we're going to go to the um, ensembles where we do see um, the winds, uh, not the winds, the, um, the ensembles are showing a pretty strong hurricane on the GFS part. And we do see a bunch of ensembles still show a tropical storm to weak hurricane for Florida. So we're going to have to watch out for that too. They're still at risk. Um, and, that, and then of course, all these ensembles are showing tropical storm. And actually most of them are showing a major hurricane to a hurricane. One even goes towards the Bahamas and then turns and goes into the northeast, which of course would be bad. So basically, depending on how close these systems get and how strong they are, we could definitely have the risk for tropical storm conditions um, for many of these places. Next, if we go to the EPS cyclone and we go to 0Z, we definitely, uh, well, let's start with uh, 12Z. We do see so far they are showing a tropical storm to hurricane and they're going much closer to the leeward islands jamaica puerto rico cuba those areas the bahamas so tropical storm conditions are possible there and then here many of them go into the caribbean or into florida or into or areas like the bahamas and some even go into the atlantic canada region up these and up the east coast so yeah we're really gonna have to watch out for that um that was just a quick update um not much else to be said as um uncertainty is still high and it hasn't formed yet i hope you guys enjoyed this video any questions please leave them in the comments so basically we're gonna have to watch out for these two potential systems anyway bye guys